For most people on U of M campus, summer is move out season, but the chemical engineering department's newest professor is moving in. My own bobblehead. Outgoing university president Eric Kaler's new office is quite a bit smaller than his old one. It's really very special. It's a, it's a neat feeling. Neat to be teaching on campus instead of running it. To go back to the same halls he walked as a student where he earned his Ph.D. in 1982, going on to an academic career elsewhere until 28 years later when his alma mater needed a new president. And you're one of only two. Mm -hmm. The second one. That have come in? Yeah, the second alum to be president. In his eight years as president, he says his three greatest accomplishments involve... One is uh, being able to bend the cost curve on increases in Minnesota resident undergraduate tuition. Uh, that rate has been the lowest increase since the Eisenhower administration. Second is getting the four-year graduation rate up from 58 to 71 percent. And third is leading a campaign to bring in nearly $4 billion in donations to spark new research and ideas. So that will transform uh, much of what we do here, enable us to go from really good to great in lots of different areas. He's also proud of his efforts to reduce sexual violence on campus, launching an initiative in 2017 that required all students Students and staff to go through training on sexual violence prevention. But despite those efforts, numerous high profile cases involving student athletes shows how much more needs to be done. Efforts continue uh, full, full speed ahead. He says serving as president has been the honor of a lifetime. And if the new one needs any help with the new job, his door is always open. What advice do you have for, for the next incoming president? Listen carefully. Um, ask questions, uh, move with, with all due deliberate speed, uh, not too slow, but not too fast. In Minneapolis, Gordon Severson, Carol Levin News. Incoming President Joan Gable will take over July 1st. She will become the university's 17th president and the first woman to hold the office in the school's 167-year history. Still to come.